fantastic. It's being in Japan, who knew? Oh, I just got tired of the Pyrenees, year in, year out. So rude. I hate when people do this. Guess who? Those have been in there for days. What are you gonna do? Teach our friend in 1G some manners. Walderman, you left your laundry in the dryer. Again. Walderman. 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 My God. They were down the hall, found him, said the door was unlocked. Oh, it's cold in here. Windows are open, heat's off. Looks like he won a couple of rounds with somebody. Hey. Hey. I don't see any blood on that knife. Mm, looks like he got strangled. Got raccoon eyes, bruising around the ears. God, it must be 40 degrees in here. Is that going to mess with your time of death? Yeah, two days, a week, maybe. Well, hopefully you can narrow that down. <laughs> well, it seems he tried to defend himself. Or started something he couldn't finish. Either way, he's finished now. Did anyone else have access to his apartment? Even the super didn't have keys. Ira kept changing the lock so we couldn't get in. Why is that? He was paranoid. Thought we were trying to take his apartment away from him. Were you? Please. Two bedroom, two bath. That's pretty big for one dude. Rent control did that. 700 a month. Well, you can get 10 times that much now. You'd think. Although crime scene and homicide aren't exactly the kind of extras that attract buyers. Buyers? Well, most of the rest of the building went co-op ages ago. Ira was the last holdout. And how much can you get for that now? A million, million five. Uh, you said he was the last runner. How long was he there? Ira grew up in that apartment. His parents lived there too until they passed away four or five years ago. Any other family? In fact, when we transferred the lease into Ira's name after his parents passed, he listed his boss as an emergency contact. Sad, really. Did he work here a long time? 20 years. You two were friends? I was the man's boss. Did you ever meet any of his family or friends? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. He didn't have any particular friends in this office. What a girlfriend. A girlfriend? Ira? Was he gay? <laughs> uh, just hopeless. You know that show, Queer Eye for a Straight Guy? Even they couldn't do anything for Ira. Well, how about enemies? People he didn't get along with. Well, that was everybody in a way. Ira had a mild disdain for other human beings. Nothing worth getting killed for. There's got to be something you can tell us about this, too. Had black coffee with two sugars and a hot pastrami sandwich on rye for lunch. Every day. I'm trying to tell you, this guy was not exactly Mr. Excitement. That's the picture we're getting, too. Did he have any interests or hobbies? Basketball, pro and college. Knew all the stats. Boy, you to death. That's the only thing he ever talked about. You mind if we look around a little longer? If it helps. Thank you. Mm. Nothing here but a bunch of takeout menus. People still have one appointment in it. Radio. Last week's paper. Sports page. He's got New York, Washington, and India in a circle. Yeah, you knew how to pick them. All those teams won. Hello? If I had to take a guess, I would say our friend is a gambler. All right, we'll be right there. And he's ready for us. The ME on the scene said that he was probably strangled. Well, from the bruising, it looks like somebody put him in a chokehold, but that's not what actually killed him. Second and third vertebrae were fractured. Somebody snapped his neck. How hard is that? It's not easy. It takes a lot of leverage. Like a hanging. Yeah, exactly like a hanging. He was lifted off his feet by his neck. The drag from his body weight helped to break the vertebrae. And Wallerman was what? Five nine? Roughly. So we're looking for somebody who was what? Oh, well over six feet and muscular. Whoever did this was a big, strong guy. Leighton lifted a good thumb print off his watch, but no hits. If it is our killers, he's not in any of the databases. And no other usable prints in the apartment. Just Walderman's, and his are on the knife, too. Well, what do we know about Mr. Walderman? I think he was a gambler betting on professional basketball teams. He pulled his bank records. He made an $80,000 deposit last month, cashier's check. It's a pretty nice score. Well, if he deposited his winnings in cash, he's not betting online. Well, some of us do prefer to squander our cash in the old-fashioned way. We'll see if he can find out who is taking Mr. Walderman's action. 
If he was betting enough to get himself killed, he memorized his bookie's number. Where was he calling from? The pay phone? He didn't have a cell phone. Well, check his office logs. Maybe he was betting from work. Huh. Well, here's a number he called one, two, five times in two days last month. I'm sorry, I got the wrong number. Sorry, bye. Lexington Grant. It's a nice hotel. Maybe you had a friend in for a visit. Cross-check the hotel's records, see if anybody called them back, you get the room number. Okay. It's a bunch of junk mail. Hey. Rosalie Horton, apartment 4A. Well, what would he be doing with his neighbor's mail? Which one of you is my driver? <laughs> uh, neither, actually. Uh, I'm Detective Fontana. This is Detective Green, New York City Police. Are you Mrs. Horton? Taka Furukawa. Mrs. Horton moved out nearly a year ago. This about the dead guy in 1G? Yeah, Ira Waldeman. You know him? Not really. He said if I held on to Mrs. Horton's mail, he'd make sure she got it. Mind if I keep packing? I've got a plane to catch. Sure. Where are you off to? London. I'm a nylon. A what? Nylon, New York Londoner. It's a hell of a commute. Tell me about it. <laughs> Man, it's hard to believe that this is the same building. I was just about to say, Mr. Waldeman's apartment don't look like this. He was rent controlled. So was Mrs. Horton. I'm co-op. Uh, do you know where Mrs. Horton moved to? Sorry. Are you going to see her? We hope so. When you do, can you give her these? 